There are a couple of ways of scheduling content in Meet Edgar. In this lesson, we're going to look at how you schedule your evergreen content from the schedule tab found in the upper navigation menu. When you come to your schedule, you'll notice it's a one week view. However, this week repeats over and over again, so you do only have to set it up once. Let's create our first time slot. Simply locate where you'd like to send an update out. Say Mondays at 8 a.m., I'd like to start my community out with a blog post and get their week going. I'll click into that area on the schedule. Similar to when you're adding content, you're gonna check off the account permissions over here on the left of where this time slot can send. Next, you'll use the category drop-down menu to select what type of post can send out at this time, and you'll click on save. You'll notice that's now a time slot on your schedule. You'll see that this time slot is going to work in the library in a last in, first out rotation. That means the most recent post you added to that category in the library will be the first update Edgar sends out when he hits this time slot on your schedule. He'll then put that post to the end of the line in the category and move along. Next time Edgar hits this category on your schedule, he'll send the next update out, put it to the end of the line in the category and move along. Edgar will work through all of the content in a specific category in that last in first out order. Once he reaches the bottom and there's no new updates to send out, that's when he'll start from the top again, resurfacing your older content for new followers to see, as well as those you didn't see it the first time. So let's take a peek at some easy math as you're getting used to this concept. Say you've added 10 blog posts to your blog post category in the library. If you place that category on your schedule once, you'll know it'll take 10 weeks before Edgar resurfaces content. If you place that category on your schedule here twice, you know it'll be five weeks before Edgar resurfaces content. Edgar will always favor the newest content you've added to that category before he resurfaces older content. The true power of Edgar does come into play when you're able to establish a weekly repeating schedule, set it and forget it, so that your posts are sending out to social media when your followers are online, not just when it's convenient for you. This also frees up some of your time so that the time you're spending on social media can be creating more engaging content for your followers and talking with them in real time. And remember, everyone consumes social media a little bit differently. We suggest using your Facebook insights and your Twitter analytics to check and see when your audience is online the most to inform your time slots. And when you're creating your posting schedule, I suggest placing your categories at different times of day. Say I wanna send out a blog post on Monday morning, perhaps I consider sending it out on Wednesday evening to catch people whose consumption habits might be a little bit different. This way, I can ensure my followers get to see a variety of content when they are online. And everyone gets to benefit from your expertise in this way. All right, once you have your schedule set up, let's take a look at how you're going to know exactly the posts that are about to send out from Edgar. That will be in the next video when we go over the queue. See you in a minute.